Hello and welcome to Brown's Boutiques. I'm Megan and I'm going to be uh, using this YouTube channel to show off some of my crocheting projects that I've been working on or even starting new ones um, throughout the process of this channel. Today I'm working on a crochet throw slash blanket. I'm not quite sure what it will become. Um, it's been working on for quite a while. Um, I found it in my stash and I thought I would go ahead and pick up back up with it. Um, the crochet uh, the yarn I'm using to crochet is by Red Heart Super Saver, I believe, and it's in the color uh, Zebra. It's a really pretty black and white with a little bit of gray, as you can see right there. kind of blends in with a gray in between. It's very nice and very cool. The pattern comes out really well, and this is just straight double crochet. Nothing fancy about it at all, but it comes out really cool with different kind of color patterns. I love using these kind of yarn um, that are multicolored or variegated. Um, it really makes the pattern stand out and intricate, and each one is different. So if you make multiple in the same color yarn, like multiple scarves or gloves or blankets, they are all going to be a little different. They're not going to be the same pattern of colors over and over, which is really cool, really nice. And everyone's like, oh, how did you do that? Um, so it's really cool to show them that it's just, you just use a multicolored yarn or variegated, and it just comes out that way. And so I'm just going to be using a six millimeter hook, crochet hook, I got from Walmart or Hobby Lobby or Joann's. I can't really remember. I've had it for a while. Um, and so I'm just doing a straight, like I said, double crochet. And this really isn't a tutorial channel, um, but I will kind of give a little bit just for those beginners out there who are watching this for the first time. This is main mainly to be kind of a relaxing video, uh, just to show me working on some projects. If you do have any questions, you can always ask them down below in the comment section, and I'll try to answer as best I can. I have been crocheting for 11 plus years. Um, so I've been trying to branch out with different projects, but I usually stay towards like scarves, blankets, throws, uh, fingerless gloves. So kind of around, that's kind of my wheelhouse, if you will. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do some crocheting for a few minutes today. And since it is National Crochet Month, to March 2020, I'm going to be trying to post a little video every day showing what I'm working on. And also be posting on my Instagram, which is also Browns, uh, Browns Boutiques but it's underscore browns, underscore boutiques, underscore. Uh, no apostrophe on my Instagram if you want to check it out. I'll have a ton of photos uh, posted there as well, um, just every day posting, just to show you what I'm working on. And so if you guys are interested, please keep watching and give this video a like and a thumbs up. Also, if you want to click the notification bell so you are updated whenever I do post a new video, that would be great as well. So let's just go ahead and get started. And with the double crochet, if you're not familiar with it, is you take your hook, you yarn over, you place it into the next stitch, which is right there. You go under um, both of the V's that are on top. Kind of hard to see. Yep, right there. A little blurry, but it's right there. You go underneath both. You yarn over again, pull through, and then you have, you now have four loops on your hook because you just yarned over again. So you pull through the first two loops, now you have two loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through the last two. And that's a basic double crochet. And then you just keep going along the same way. You just keep going, yarning over, pulling through, yarn over, pull through again, just a basic double crochet. It is my favorite stitch because it is so easy to do. Uh, Single crochet is also very easy, but I just like the look of the double crochet better, and so that's the one I prefer to use whenever I'm making projects for friends or family. And it's something that I've done so many times, um, sorry, you'll have to forgive me, this is my first video crocheting, so I'm a little nervous, but also trying to make sure I can show you guys what I'm doing in case you are interested in trying the double crochet. It's very, it whips up very quickly. And it just gives the product, the project that you're working on, a really nice stitch, as you can see there. My camera will focus. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically all I'm doing, is just all the way across, 
in every stitch. I don't remember. Oh, sorry, that's my little timer here. I don't remember how many stitches this is across. Um, like I said, I started it a few years ago, forgot about it, put it away, was working on some other projects, and then I came back to it today when I was working through my stash to figure out what needed worked on and what didn't. And I found it, and I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. I forgot I was working on that. And so I've just started working on it again today because I love crocheting. It is my favorite pastime, my favorite stress reliever. I'm a big crochet enthusiast. I've told a lot of people about it. Uh, it's also a really great conversation starter for people, like when I'm working, and they're like, oh, well, I knit, or I do this. I'm like, well, I crochet. I've been doing it for so long. And so they want to see my work and stuff, which I will be posting on my Instagram again if you're interested. Um, my personal Instagram has a lot of my photos, so I'm going to try and move those over onto my business Instagram at Browns Boutiques, if you're interested. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just working today, doing, taking some time to myself. Um, my husband's out with our son out in the other room playing, and so I have a few moments of quiet, which is really nice to have during the day. I work at night, and so during the day is kind of my time to have quiet time, or when I probably should be sleeping, but I feel bad for sleeping during the day. And so um, I like to have a few moments in my new craft room, which I may also give a tour of once I have it more set up for you guys, and show you what I'm working with, and just the quietness I have in this room, which is really nice to have. Never had a craft room before, and so I'm really excited to use this and utilize it for this channel and just also for my own working on projects and stuff. I'm not really working on anything for anyone at the moment, but I will show pictures um, and share them with you guys of ones I have worked on before for friends and family that I've made. And uh, for the past couple years for Christmas, I have made uh, crochet projects for my family, ornaments or uh, bookmarks or just memory things like that. And they've been really liking them, really, um, positive because they know how much it means to me. My mom was also a crafter um, before she passed away back in 2016 and so it's nice to have that to pass down to um, other family members that are younger than me and show them the love that we have for crafts with this family. And so yeah, I'm just crocheting away here and uh, hopefully, sorry I keep going out of focus, sorry I'll get better at this I promise. It's just, you know, first video on here, so I'm hoping you guys are enjoying it so far. Just a nice relaxing video of crocheting. I've seen a lot of videos where they just show themselves crocheting away on whatever they're working on. And I was like, I can do that, you know, nothing, there's, that's just not hard to do. And so that's what I thought about doing, was just sharing my passion with the world with YouTube. I've been following a lot of people for a while that like to share their passion. And I was like, that's, I can do that. I have a camera, I have passion for something, and I feel like with all the people trying to get out here with crochet, I feel like it's coming back into popularity, and I really think it should. It's something that's really nice to do. Um, you're making homemade gifts for people, and um, you're taking time and thought and energy into it, and people are like, oh, well, it's handmade, so it can't be very good. But as you can see, this is a very nice looking blanket, and I, it's just... Crochet is just something you can do in your spare time. It's nothing that, you know, it's like I'm going to be doing it anyway, so why not make it for someone and they can enjoy it? So I don't know if this will become for anyone in particular or if it will just be for me, but I do love crochet and I think it needs to come back out into the world a little bit more and share, share it with the world. And this month, being National Crochet Month, is something I definitely want to try and do. So every day I'm going to post a little video on YouTube showing just me working on my projects, try to get my voice out there and my passion and talent out there. I feel like I am talented in this. Um, I'm not as talented as a lot of people, um, but I'm definitely getting better and I'm definitely trying to branch out into different stitches and patterns and different kinds of yarn. I got a few for the holidays, so I'm going to try those and see how they do. But I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video today. Again, if you have any questions, you can always ask me down below in the comment section. You can give this video a like and a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and want to see more of them. I will be posting again tomorrow, and so happy crochet, happy National Crochet Month. God bless and thank you so much. Bye.